Precision farming technologies are transforming many agricultural industries and are now also becoming common in intensive horticulture. Many vegetable growers are now realising the benefits of using plug and play technologies such as guidance and auto steer on their farms. Some growers are now also turning their attention towards the next generation of precision technologies to reduce and manage crop variability. Ben Pajoli is one such grower. Ben grows mixed crops and potatoes on his family farm at Tolga on the Atherton Tablelands in North Queensland. Some early satellite imagery showed Ben that there was variability in his crops. He quickly realised that by improving poorly performing areas, he could increase his overall productivity. I knew there was issues in that field from when I'd harvested it and I didn't actually know what had caused like the decline in yields in some parts and higher yields in other parts which made me sort of go searching then to try and work out how we go about ground truthing this information, what sort of technology we can use to actually retrieve the information so that we can then put it to a GPS point and um, ground truth that point to find out what is going on in that, that one particular area. Ben is using crop sensing, yield monitoring and variable rate technology as part of his farming operations. The crop sensing system Ben is using is called Green Seeker. It measures the amount of light reflected by plants and uses this as an indicator of plant health. The higher the reading, the healthier the plant. Ben has previously used high resolution satellite imagery and while the delivery times for satellite data is improving, it's often not timely enough for vegetable operations and can be hampered by cloud cover. A major advantage of a ground-based system like Green Seeker is that it captures information in real time. This allows Ben to pick up problems earlier and minimises the impact of yield loss by allowing early intervention. Green Seeker is different to satellite imagery because it's basically real time as you're going through the field and we spray basically our peanuts at least 10 times a year, which is every seven to 10 days. So you're getting an image back um, basically straight on your screen there to tell you there's issues in your, in your field um, every 10 days rather than getting a satellite imagery that, you know, it could be a week or two weeks old. So the problem's already been and started before you even Get the imagery. In addition to Green Seeker, Ben has installed yield monitoring hardware to his potato harvester. This means he can now accurately measure yield from specific locations on his farm. Ben and his agronomists use this information to target problem areas in his fields such as poor yield, seed viability and moisture stress. We've just received back our um, potato yield mapping. And from that we were able to see that in that field we had some seed issues and you could really see um, the difference in those fields that had that issue and how, how much yield loss you can get from that. Another issue that showed up was uh, with Hardo's irrigator and it wasn't watering even enough which led to another yield issue. A big advantage of this technology is that it can identify emerging problems before the symptoms become visible or are beyond treatment. We probably wouldn't have picked up those issues um, had we not had this information to actually go looking for it. It showed up on the Green Seeker as well as we were spraying. Um, that, you know, there was low yield areas in that field. We knew the one with the seed uh, because you could actually see it, there's plants missing. But the water one, we, we couldn't see it as the Green Seeker was reading it but you did see it sort of a week later when you know, the moisture stress showed up. But the Green Seeker picked it up a long time before we could actually pick it up visibly. These technologies are designed to easily integrate with existing machinery on both large and small farms. However, some technical support from equipment manufacturers and dealers is usually required to optimise the setup. The fitting of the, the equipment um, was not super hard. Um, it all basically fitted onto all the machines reasonably easy, a little bit of modification here and there, but nothing that you know the average farmer couldn't sort out. As far as other producers getting into this style of uh, farming, precision ag, um, I think a lot of the people overlook it because they think they've got small, small farms, but the actual value of the crops they're growing are very high valued crops, so 
Um, any input you can save is usually a huge saving with the likes of potatoes or peanuts which cost you a lot of money per hectare to grow. With some fine tuning, Ben is confident that the technology will help him achieve more uniform crops and better yields. I hope to be able to use that data to um, increase my dollars per hectare return by increasing yields um, in those poor areas and basically decreasing the amount of products I have to put on. Precision management tools such as crop sensing and yield monitoring offers horticultural producers new ways in which to view and manage crops. Identifying, understanding and managing crop variability can have a major impact on the profitability of vegetable farms.